Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how a push button works and I will also talk about memory bits. Now, let's head over to the open PLC editor. Now, I will make a new folder here. And I will name the folder as program first. Then after I will select the folder and a box will pop up on my screen. I will edit them and press OK. Now, first of all, I will make a push button here and i will show you how to make the push button i will create a variable here and name the variable as input first and type of the variable as boolean then after i will edit the second variable as output Let us just name the first variable as input and second as output. Now I will make two power rails here. First one on the left side and another one on the right side. Now I made two power rails and they are both I think yes they are aligned. Now I will add a contact and I will also adjust its block size then after I will add a coil and adjust its block size. Now I will connect these pins here and I will join them together. Now, if I start simulating this ladder diagram here, you already know when I modify the input, the output will go through, and when I will modify the input as false, the modify the output will go false. Now, how to make a push button? I only need to add a contact, but name the contact or address the contact as as I address it the coil. Now, what you see here is a concept known as latching, which means if I address the input as I address the output and I will use the output as an input this is known as latching. Now let's start the simulation here and see what will happen. The simulation is complete and I will click on the glasses then after I will show you the output and the input. Let me show you this clearly to you. Then after, as you can see, when I will modify or force true to the input, the output will go through. As the output will go through, the input which I latched or which I addressed, the normally open contact as the output it will also go through and when i modify the input as false you will see that the output is still true and this is how we make a push button as i will force true the input again the output is still true and if i will force false to the input the output will still remain true
now I made a push button here and now I will stop the simulation and I will create or add a new variable here and I will name the variable as m not which is a memory bit now I will show you how it works I will add a contact on the left side and I will address the contact normally open contact as input and I will add a coil on the right hand side and I will address it as memory bit which is M not now I will connect these two and instead of the input which I used in the push button I will use here M not now I'll start the simulation again the simulation is complete now I will show you the M not also and the input at last now when I modify the input to true the M not will go true what does a memory bit do is it stores the value and acts accordingly as you can see when I modified the input to true the M not will go through as I used a latch the M not in the input it will also go through and the output will go through and the latched output which I used in the contact here will also go through now if I modify the input to false you will see that M not will go false and the contact normally open contact M not will also go false. Now I will stop the simulation here and I will add first of all, I will drag this down, then I will add an another. memory bit here and address it as m1 then I will add a contact on the left side and address it as m0 then I will adjust it as block size then after I will use or add a coil on the right side and address it as M1. Then, after I will adjust the block size and join these pins. I will start the simulation now I will click on the debug glasses here and drag this up now you can see the ladder diagram here I will clear these and I will show you the output first then after I will show you the M0 and M1 and last I will show you the input as you can see all of the coils are false so is the input when i modify input to true you will see that m0 will go through then after the contact normally open contact will become normally close contact and after that m1 will go through and the m0 which is used here on the normally open contact will become normally close contact and after that the output will go through
Now, if I modify the input as false, you will see that the M0 will go false, and by that, the normally open contact will go false, and M1 will also go false. And but still, the output is true as I latched the output and made it a push button. This ends our video here. Thank you for watching.